Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. You're just in time. I'm packing up. I'm gonna hit the road. Where am I going? Well, right now I'm exploring. I'm out in the East Texas Piney Woods on Lake of the Pines, Johnson Creek, Johnson Creek Campground. But I'm done here. Spent one night. Boy, did it rain too. But we're gonna pack up, hook up, and roll on down. We're gonna hook up the little white truck. And we're gonna head across down the lake uh, about six miles. And we're gonna go pay a visit to Buckhorn Creek Campground. It's right by the, the Lake of the Pines Dam. So let's, let's get on the road and go see Buckhorn Creek. Buckhorn Creek, Lake of the Pines. <laughs> I like this better than where I was. Easy access to the water. I'm at the end, the last campsite on this loop. Loop E, I do believe. E217. We are in a pull through. Now, yeah, it's on the wrong side of the road. I could have turned around and put my front door facing the water, but that's not too bad. And considering there's not a whole lot of people, it's perfect. It's not real flat, it is, it's water and electric only. Water's on in this campground uh, in February, or February 26, 30 and 50. It runs downhill. You see I had to block it up. Runs downhill in two directions, to the front and to the driver's side. Asphalt pad, we have a con a, an aluminum picnic table, lantern hook, fire ring, pine trees. This would be a great campsite during, during the summer because that's where the western sun would be. So here we are. I think I'm gonna jump in the truck and go do a little exploration. Still kind of wet to deploy little red, but hopefully we're gonna we're gonna dry out a little bit that to this afternoon, and I I can get some scooter runs done. Actually, got two of them in mind. So stay tuned. Hey, let's go see some stuff. Buckhorn Creek, Lake of the Pines. 
there's Miss V right there. I'm over across, as you can see, I'm across a little bay here, a little inlet. I'm in the tent camping loop. And man, I really like this, this little tent camping loop. I mean, you can literally walk right down to the water. Strange thing though, and I saw this over at the that Johnson Creek. And if, and if you didn't catch the Johnson Creek video, uh, you'll need to go into the COE campground playlist uh, and it'll be in there. Or you can go to dudeRV.com and look on the, the Corps of Engineer campground page and, and you'll find it there. Or hey, you can just post a comment down there and say, hey man, send me, send me that video and I'll put it in the comments in a reply. But one thing I've noticed is you don't have a whole lot of parking. I guess you're supposed to park on the grass. But in most campgrounds that I've visited, they're, they're, they don't like you to park on the grass. Well, I, I don't know. Anyway, we'll go see some more stuff. Buckhorn Creek Campground. Lake of the Pines. And see, I didn't know what I didn't know when I was booking my site. That's why I'm doing this for you so that you will know. This is the E-Loop. Uh, and the sites are they're nice and they're level. This is this is cool. I, I may actually see about getting into E121 here. Look at that view on the patio. <laughs> yeah. Let me go. Let me go talk to the front gate. Leg of the pines. The dam overlook. I wasn't kidding. This is the dam overlook. Right next to, I'm right next to Buckhorn Creek Campground. It's actually on that side. There's not a whole lot of activity kind of stuff in Buckhorn Creek Campground. So, I thought I'd go find you some stuff to do. There's a restroom here. At, there's a restroom here at the Overlook, but it is, ooh, it's really bad. <laughs> it's really bad. But that caught my attention, a big old oak tree. All right, let's, let's go see a boat ramp. Starting to rain again. And I'm camped at Buckhorn Creek on Lake of the Pines, which is right there. But to get here, you have to go out of the campground, make a right, head to the dam, turn at the boat ramp sign before you get to the dam. It is a fishing dock. Some of them boards look pretty rotted. It is both a fishing dock and a courtesy dock. It looks like there may be a, a jetty over there. Looks like it's in pretty rough shape. But I think if you want to fish deep water for some catfish on Lake of the Pines, this is probably a great place.
What a great day. Well, let's go find something else. Leg of the Pines. We're below the dam. That's the outflow from the lake. Lots of people fishing today. All right, let's go see some more stuff. Lake of the Pines. Well, I'm down below the dam for Lake of the Pines. They actually have a boat ramp. I'm not sure what body of what, if this is a river or just a big creek. Let's go see what else. It looks like I'm having some issues with my microphone. That's thanks. All right, so I'm going to be doing a, a, a scooter tour here in a moment. But right now, I'm at the lakeside recreation area. On the other side of that foggy lake is where I am set up, Buckhorn Creek Campground. This is the day use swim area. And there's just this, I don't know what it is about this lake and pelicans. There are lots of pelicans here. All right, more to come. Stay tuned. So Lake of the Pines is definitely a boater friendly lake. As you can see, there's another boat ramp with a courtesy dock. This is at the lakeside day use area. All right, let's go see some more stuff. They have two swim areas at the lakeside day use area, Lake of the Pines. And this one is a, a little bigger. You can actually, I guess you could actually swim out to the island Two. Let's go see some more stuff. than dude rv has been on little red what? no way well, what an honor i know oh i didn't need to do that hold on i'm gonna take a picture all right all right 
We've got a very unique situation that has developed. <laughs> the art of RVing has arrived at the Dude RV Camp. <laughs> Buckhorn Creek. Yes. And we're actually going to let Mark go for a ride on Little Red. <laughs> He's living dangerous. And away we go. Whoa. <laughs> the sound effect. And then over here, and then over there. <laughs> He's imitating you. <laughs> we bought the dog, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> we'll be back. I found that in a foreclosed house. I had it in the garage. And then I started shooting you. Well, that was really nice. Mark and Carrie of The Art of RVing are departing. They're on their way out. If you've not paid a visit to The Art of RVing, you ought to go check out their channel. Mark has a very unique perspective on things. He's definitely an artist. So, Mark and Carrie, appreciate y'all stopping by. Check out this point. This, we were there yesterday. Of course, we didn't have sun. So this is the boat ramp. That's the fishing dock. And there's this cool fog coming in from over that way, and that moved in yesterday, yesterday afternoon. All right. More to come. Good morning from Buckhorn Creek, Lake of the Pines. As you can see, I'm having serious issues with my microphone, but I assure you, I'll have that sorted out before the next campground adventure. To give you a brief recap of Buckhorn Creek, Lake of the Pines, this is definitely a, this is a destination. No question about it. You need to plan on coming out here for several days to take full advantage of everything this great camp, campground has to offer. There's so much to do from fishing in multiple locations, from the bank, from the fish dock, below the dam. There's enough boat ramps here that you'll never have to worry about finding a place to put your boat in the water. Kids can go swimming over to the day use area and there's disc golf and there's just so much going on. This is a destination. Not so much of a waypoint site because it's it's kind of off the beaten path. But if you don't mind driving a little ways out of your way, this is a beautiful campground, no question about it. You just I just love these East Texas piney wood campsites. And there's just so much wildlife here. Uh, every everywhere you turn, there is there is something beautiful to look at. But we're done here. It's time to hit the road and go on down to the next campsite. 
If this is your first visit to Dude RV, uh, I'd sure appreciate it if you'd consider clicking on that subscribe button. And if you've not already done it, please click on the thumbs up. That really helps with the YouTube algorithm and, and sharing this video across YouTube. And for those of you who have been subscribed, thank you. I, I am honored that you follow along. I'd like to especially give a shout out to my patrons. You guys, that, that just touches my heart. Thank you so very much. I am deeply honored. With that being said, y'all come back now, you hear?